Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Everybody knows that back in the 60s, you had to have sponsors for a TV show to work, to even get, to even get running. Um, Beverly Hillbillies was no exception to that rule. Uh, Winston was one of their sponsors, Winston Cigarettes, and uh, so was Kellogg's. Uh, mostly cornflakes, uh, and there was lyrics added to the Beverly Hillbillies theme song verses for these things. Pretty neat, I think. And I've got some pictures in there of some of the commercials as well. Take a look, see what you think. Listen to a story about a man named Jed. Well, you know how the tune goes. Beverly Hillbillies theme song was number one country hit after all. Folksy Bluegrass Diddy told how Jed Clamp had become a millionaire. However, not everyone is as lucky enough to find oil while shooting at animals in the backyard. Some people have to make millions the old-fashioned way, collecting cash from corporate sponsors. In the early days of television, if you didn't have a corporate sponsor, you didn't have a show. Even Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz unsuccessfully shopped I Love Lucy around to several advertising agencies before Philip Morris finally gave in and agreed to help finance a sitcom. Big Tobacco was a major backer of TV sitcoms. Even the Flintstones show, uh, showed Fred and Barney puffing a Winston cigarette to promote the smokes. Same brand worked on its way into another family favorite, the Beverly Hillbillies. That banjo picking theme song original featured an extra verse about the cigarettes as the Clampets rambled past a Winston truck in the 1929 Oldsmobile. Come along and visit with the Clampett family as they take you to the mansion in the hills of Beverly. And when they do, you'll run into a friend of theirs you've met, that good old friend with filtered blend, Winston Cigarette. The side of the semi-truck is emblazed with an ad pro uh, proclaiming Winston takes good like a cigarette should. Clap it's all wave at the big rig. What pairs better with uh, tobacco than cornflakes? It was the Breakfast of Champions in 62, so naturally an additional verse sang about Kellogg's cereal. Now along came and visit with the Clampett family as they learned their simple pleasures of the hills of Beverly. That includes the products of your sponsor of the week, the cereals of Kellogg's, Kellogg's of Battle Creek. K-E-L-L-O, double good, Kellogg's, best to you. Perhaps the song, uh, perhaps the copywriter ran out of lyrics halfway through. In the clip, Jed and Jethro turned their heads to check out a cornflakes billboard alongside the road in Beverly Hills. Seems like the kind of thing that people in Beverly Hills would not particularly enjoy in front of their mansions. But hey, you gotta pay the bills. Now could you imagine today's uh, television shows being sponsored by a cigarette company? They would shut them down faster. <laughs> you think people are getting canceled now, boy. <laughs> they would have got canceled right then and there. Uh, but it's kind of neat, especially seeing uh, Fred Flintstone with a cigarette. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please check out classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Subscribe while you're over there. Link is in the description below. Uh, if you cannot find it there for some reason uh, and you need it, yell at me in the uh, comment section and I will get it to you. Um, but please go over there and check it out. And please subscribe there. And please check out uh, classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia today. It's a pretty good one. Um, have a great day. God bless. Uh, I'm going to take a cigarette break now. Kidding. I'll be praying for you.